Holly's going down this hole. She's found a rat down there or something. She's gone right inside, look at the old tail wagon. Never was there a more keen dog to catch rats. Must be horrible down there, all prickles and shit. What does the dog care? Dog couldn't care less, could you, Poe, eh? No? <laughs> couldn't care less. Oh, there it goes, the rat, there it goes, there it goes. It's swimming underwater. Poe, it's gone, mate, you missed it. Wow, I've never seen one swing out of water like that. Wiggle! Get in pace! Head in! Well as you could probably tell by the beginning of this video She's wet! It was pissing down last night, cats and dogs The farm is still flooding All the water's running off But we needed it And I'm really pleased because I've planted some natives So they'll get rained in nicely Be good for them So what's happening today? Well I was going to go for a hunt with my mate Simon But he's rooted his back Good and proper and his dad is waiting for surgery, so he's not much good. And I'm still recovering from my surgery, so we'd be three useless bastards in the bush. So I'm lending pace and B to young Patrick, who's taking someone out for a hunt this afternoon. I could have gone, but I decided I'd just let them do it themselves. Where are we going? Around here? Get out of the wind, actually. Go this way here. Pace, come. Get him behind. So I'll give Patrick a GoPro, and maybe he can... Uh, Bring some footage back of that hunt. Don't know what'll happen there. He's got the sibling dog to pace. He's got Tig. And Tig's handy dog. Yeah, good dog. So the three of them, there'll be three wild terriers. See how that goes. Come on. Come on. Heal up. It's just a bloody ripper day. Perfect time to go for a hunt for anybody because it's been raining all night. 
and all the pigs will be coming out, they'll be rooting up the ground, getting some, some tucker in them, some food in their bellies, and they love to, to dig stuff up pigs because they feed on grubs, roots, they're opportunist feeders, they feed on everything that we feed on but a bit more palatable. Basically they're omnivores like us. Pigs love meat, but what they really like is rotten old meat that's like been sort of broken down. I've noticed, I'll eat fresh meat too, but you know, I knocked over a goat when I was goat culling years ago and it wasn't until it was almost a liquid on the ground that the pigs came out and ate it. Isn't that weird, eh? Maybe their stomachs can digest it better, I'm not sure. Heal up, come on. Heal up. Oh, she's a ripper day. So the seasons are changing right now. That means it's going to be fantastic for going out fishing soon. There'll be snapper out in that bay any time now. And there's kahoi already coming in. I've already caught some a couple of times. It's just all happening right now. It's changing. Everything's good for us that like to hunt and gather because we can go out now and know that the game are feeding on all the spring grass, fresh spring grass. Another six weeks, eight weeks, they'll be in prime condition after the winter. And this is what I really like, is, is getting that uh, that fat animal, you know, and living off the fat of the land. Come on, heal up. Good dogs. The downside is it can get too hot to hunt your dogs. This is what I love about my little dogs, because they don't overheat. They just can go, go and go and go. That's the... Uh, Whippet coming out in them, they're self cooling almost. And the whippet breed goes longer and harder than the greyhounds. Greyhounds are faster to burst, but you can't hunt anything with greyhound in it all day long. Well, some might disagree with that, depends what else it's mixed with, but they're not particularly very good at going for hours and hours like these little dogs. I've hunted them for 18 hours solid. That's, a, that's the longest I've ever done, and they can do it. They're pretty good, eh? There's a rabbit about. 12, 15 metres right in front of us, just below the yellow on that gorse bush there, just sitting in the sun. And he hasn't moved. I expect he'll run as I get closer. He's just sitting there, not moving at all. He's afraid to give himself away. Look at him, just sitting down there. He hasn't moved at all. Well, the ducks have told him that we're here. Thank you. Still there. And come down close, see how close we can get. Your bolt so he's just sitting there. There he goes, he's off. You like an egg, mate? Eh? <laughs> Happy days. Well done. Well, there's possum. And there's posse yum, and because the dogs are going to be hunting, we're going to give them this, because they will process that better than they will whole meat and bone right now. They're going to be hunting about three and a half hours, four hours. This is cut into squares, and it's for you Bruno, eat up. There you go. It'll break up when he eats it. This is actually not for you mate, so you're probably best to go. There you go. Off you go. Time to spoil Ducky. Very happy, aren't you? And the chicken get it. Oh, you lost it to the chicken, eh? You lost it, mate. Got to be fast around here. Very thin piece. What are you going to do with that? Going to stick it in the water. And the chickens get it. They'll take it off you before you know it. Yeah, lost it again. <laughs> Just took that out of my hand without even asking. There's one rude duck. Are you gonna get robbed this time? Yep, you got robbed again. Not the cleverest duck when it comes to retaining your food, are you? Not really, no. You can do better than that, can't you, eh? Hmm? Yeah. Want some more? Want some more? Eh? Hey? Okay. Catch. Bad catch. Oh, the chicken got that one too. Okay, mate, here's the last bit. Yeah, keep it to yourself. You'll lose it. You'll blood it. You've lost that again. Let's face it, duck. You're not very good, are you? Very shearing, but not very good. Eat up. Oh, 
old Poe's back in her ass up to the cage because she's on heat. Yeah, Bruno, you're going to try and service her through there. Nothing going to happen, mate. Ain't going to happen. Jeez, I better bloody fix that rope up. It looks a bit dodgy. If that breaks, we'll have Bruno puppies crossed with Poe. We don't want that, do we? Bruno, what do you got that rope on? What are you trying? Are you trying to let her out of there, mate, eh? That looks a bit dodgy. Hey, Where you go. Meanwhile, Pace is just getting down his posse, um. Right, will feed B. Eat up. I break it up in little bits just so they don't choke on it because dogs can. This helps them to digest it better as well. There's not a lot of chewing going on there, most of it's just like a vacuum cleaner sucking it up and straight down the gullet. Alright, mate. Here we go. In your box. In your box. And Pink staying inside because she's on heat too, aren't you, mate? And tail's wagging. They love the posse, yum. They just love it. Tail going all the time. If you're ever trying to get a dog fat, this is a good stuff. These whippet breeds are hard to fatten up, but no trouble on the old posse yum. And all the good stuff. Heart, liver, lung, kidney, spleen. It's just really everything there, really, including possum, of course. Slow down, mate. I've just fitted Pace out with this rip gear from Game Gear. But I'm not happy with how much throat is exposed around here. Normally a collar would go through here, a unit, GPS unit would go in there. But I'm going to actually put a separate collar around here with a bit of rip protection using the fire hose and leave that out because it's just too much exposed neck area. Predominantly he gets ripped in his back end. He's biting the pig or trying to at least and the pig hooks him in the back. He's been ripped up here a few times. He's been ripped on his back. So none of this would really protect any of that. It's the vital organs around here. And of course the carotid artery which goes down through here which a boar will rip and kill him. So that's what we're going to run on him for Patrick today. Because I know where Patrick's going there's some gnarly boars. This is the T T5. So there's no prongs or anything coming out here. Garmin tracking aerial with GPS and radio. A signal back to the handheld unit giving information and as you can see I've got fire hydrant on it so we're going to put that around his neck and do that up like that give him added protection it will restrict his movement a bit but it will give him more protection righty -o. how's that feel pace stay stay there stay he wants to come out because pink's down here and she's on heat that's what he's looking at you're shaking you stay here doesn't seem too bothered by it, do you, boy? Tail wagon. If it got too hot, I wouldn't have it wearing because you get overheat with it. That okay, mate? You look a bit stiff in the neck. Just interested in one thing, aren't you? Yeah, I know. Just put B's tracking collar and his rip collar on. It's also one of the Game Gear ones. He doesn't need much because he's actually never been ripped. Don't you guys fight. Pace, calm down. Tail's working. Good dog. That's good. Pace has been ripped many times. Calm down. Body language not... Pace, calm down. Good boy. Yeah, slightly stiff in the tail. Good boy, Pace. I'll take him for a walk and see how he runs on that. Beagle. Beagle. Not sure about it? That's not much of a run, Pace. Come on, let's get you move. Hey. Oh, there you go. Smelling dog pee. That's what's going on there. He seems alright. A little bit restricted, aren't you, mate? But it can save your life. Hey, good boy. Yeah, they're fine. He's coming back up to the kennels, I think. I came down to see how my plantings are after the rain and I don't think the timing could have been better. They got just what they needed. They really have uh, 
received all that water they needed and the roots or something's uncovered those roots up we need to cover that up again a bit not sure what maybe it was a chicken or a rabbit yeah give you a bit of a cover up there keep things nice and moist the ground is really 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 moist up here which is what we want get this this is very wet I don't want them drying out I could prune them back a little bit so they uh, get more of a chance might just break this one here off and that one off too there's no point in having the plant try to suck everything out and that root doesn't belong to the plant that's just a bit of dirt root that's looking good and I thought over here you can see this nice beautiful Rimu strong the one next to it really struggling and a friend of mine told me that often you'll have two like this together and they compete and this one here can put stuff out from its roots it's actually toxin to anything around it so it survives and one only one will grow and when I come to think of it I've never actually seen two big remu growing together so I might take this out the shovel and re-transplant it somewhere else underneath here yeah that's what I'm going to do with that Hello, mate. There you go. This is Piggy P, everybody. That's his house over there. Made a big hole. We had a huge amount of rain last night. We only just got this drying out, it's a mess again. There you go, mate. Fresh grass. He's dug this hole out over here. You can see it's actually um, quite dry on the inside. Bloody dangerous, he can get out there easy, I might have to do some work on it. This is a pig I gave Awi to butcher, and as it turned out, it was pretty much dog tucker. I don't think Awi actually got any... Did you save any meat out of it all, Awi? No. So it's all dog tucker, the whole pig I gave you, was it? Mm-hmm. Mm. So rather than waste it, Awi's drying it out in the wind for dog chews, and they make really good dog chews. It was only a small pig, but it just got too dogged at the bale, and the meat was too bruised, which sometimes happens if you can't get there fast enough. And now we dries all the skins out for dog chews as well. And the ribs, and the brisket, I think it's wasted. Come on mate, yeah, full rip gear on pace, and this guy here's just got uh, his collar. There you go Pace, you know who this is, you know she are, the Good boy. They're more interested in her fanny. Yeah, this one here's probably easier mate. Come on. Fuck all. Yeah, Choppy used to run it all the time. You can see it's not slowing down. Sweet. Yeah, maybe you're right. Pace up. Yeah, pace. pace. You may not get up with the rip gear on. Good boy. Pace, get up. Get up. Pace. Good dogs. Go, Pace. Up, your boy. Up. Come on, mate. Up with them. Up. Come on. Good dog. Up. 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 Just grab him, mate. Throw him up. This one. Can we handle? Get in. You boys behave yourself, okay? Alright, good luck. Three days, mate. I'll catch you when I get back. Yeah, yeah. I'll uh, be out tonight, just give us a text. Yeah, no problem. See you later. Okay, mate, see you later. Good luck. Well, that'll be interesting to see how that goes. I'm just hanging here with my man, Pace. So Patrick dropped him off and B just now. No pork on the back of the truck. They got onto a couple of pigs, but without Poe, without that main dog, bloody hard to stop pigs were they're hunting in the forestry. So, but back home, safe, without any rips, and that's what we want. I think the rip gear probably did restrict him a bit, and I need something a bit more streamlined. I have got something come, coming from Australia from Good Bastard. Justin has sent me some stuff, but it's held up in customs. Hopefully this week we can sort that out. I did write to them, but we haven't got it yet. So that's it for this vlog. I got a question on the computer from Sarah Sutherland. Sarah Sutherland writes, Clay, what are your pet hates and pet loves? And that noise squeaking over there is pink. No barking pink. She's in the dog box because she's on heat. What are my pet hates and pet loves? Oh, man. It's 
So it's a very, very hard question to to answer in a short time because it's not straightforward and simple. But you know, there's lots of things that I really love about people, and there's some things that piss me off. But overall, what I'll say is that uh, you should never have expectations about anything. There's an old saying. If you have expectations, you can expect to be disappointed. It's like today I was supposed to go for a hunt with Simon, but Simon said, oh, my back's too sore, and he was right. We probably were better off not going with him with a crook back, but um, I didn't get disappointed. I just went, okay, now I can do something else cool, and I did. But my pet hates would be, or one of them would be gossips. I've got zero time for people that gossip. If someone starts gossiping to me about somebody else, straight away I just cut them down and say, not interested. I mean, you can be sure if someone's gossiping to you about somebody else, as soon as you turn your back, they'll be gossiping about you and all your friends and everything. Yeah, no time for gossips. What are my pet loves? I like, I love people that have open minds, people that are prepared to change what they've always done, to change the pattern, to make things better, whether it's changing their diet or changing their mindset or changing a pattern they're doing. So... People with closed minds, you can't move forward, you can't evolve, but people whose minds are open, they just, there's no end to what you can achieve with someone like that, you know, the things you could build together or create. So I love open minds. You're shaking, boy. Hey, you okay? Having pictures on heat's not very good, is it, mate? Yeah, getting a bit worked up there. We didn't get a lot of sleep last night because all the dogs were squeaking like there. Wanting to do what's natural. Maybe I'll get them muted, the boys. Anyway, on that note, uh, thanks for watching my vlog. Be good, can't be good, then be careful. See you later. You're going to be quiet, boy, aren't you? Good dog. All that running around the bush and still he's got heaps of energy. Getting to see his girlfriend. Ain't going to happen. Tails wagging, but it ain't gonna happen. No.